Hey, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the MXL 991 condenser microphone. So this microphone, you cannot purchase it on its own. Um, it comes usually in a package with uh, another microphone by MXL, the uh, 990, which is how I ended up getting my hands on this mic. It's a condenser microphone, so that means it requires phantom power. Condenser microphones um, are wonderful uh, in tone quality. They have more clarity, meaning they have um, they pick up more of the sound than your dynamic microphone would. This microphone is a cardioid pattern, so really it picks up things from front. This one has a pretty wide pattern, so it actually captures a lot of sound. And how I use this microphone myself is to, to record uh, acoustic instruments, acoustic guitars. Frequency response range of it is 30 hertz all the way up to 18,000 hertz or 18 kilohertz kind of has like a little dip from 30 to 50 and then it's it, it kind of starts to rise a little bit but it's it's perhaps a couple of decibels so it's not going to be very significant of a of a difference because of its small size it's really going to just pick up more of the higher frequencies because it's a smaller diaphragm so it's just a little bit more sensitive to the high frequencies actually don't have the 990 anymore. Um, I found this one had a slightly better tone quality for what I wanted. Um, it, like I said, it, it really sounds great with acoustic guitars, uh, perhaps pianos. It has a pretty broad uh, frequency response range. It's very light. It only weighs 0.35 pounds as per the uh, manufacturer. So um, it's very light. Build quality, it, it, it's you know this is this was a very cheap microphone i believe i got the set for some crazy low amount and i just couldn't pass it up um and lo and behold i've held on to this microphone and i've recorded vocals with this one and i've recorded acoustic instruments with this one so i would recommend this microphone for uh acoustic guitars classical guitars uh, vocals even it, it, it's it's not very noisy which is why i like to use it uh, as opposed to the 990 which was pretty noisy compared to this one it just always had a uh, some rumble in there and so i ended up keeping this one and finding this one to be very useful i just i think it's a good microphone for the price you know if you're looking to to start recording things you really don't need that much you just need uh persistence and perseverance so I think this microphone, the MXL 991, uh, it should be sold by itself or in pairs because it's a great microphone and I think MXL did a great job with this one. So I'm, I'm actually very surprised why they choose not to sell it on its own. It's a great microphone. I mean, perhaps someone has an idea why MXL chooses not to. Perhaps that's just the market that they don't want to be in. They're already doing microphones, but why not sell this one? Um, beats me I guess thanks for watching uh, please like this video subscribe ring the bell and leave a comment below if there's anything I missed or if you like this video uh, share it with someone and check out my other videos up here and I hope to see you soon